Today, we will introduce how to use TLS point cloud segmentation in LiDAR 360. Before performing TLS individual tree segmentation, you need to load point cloud data that has already been normalized and ensure that this point cloud does not have tree ID attributes. You can normalize the data using normalization and clear tree ID in the point cloud using clear tree ID under other tools. Next, you can click on Point Cloud Segmentation under Segmentation, and the software will open the Point Cloud Segmentation dialog, automatically selecting the Point Cloud data you loaded into the viewer. In the From Class section, you can choose Unclassified Points, or if you have previously separated vegetation points, you can select only the vegetation points. Here are some parameter settings and you can either use the default parameters or manually adjust them based on your specific scenario. Cluster tolerance. Users can control the accuracy and efficiency of the individual tree segmentation process by changing this value. Increasing this threshold will result in higher efficiency of the individual tree segmentation process, but if this threshold is too large, it may lower accuracy. Minimum cluster size. This parameter will influence the growth of the point cloud of individual tree crowns. Fewer points will lead to higher accuracy but lower efficiency, and vice versa. Minimum DBH. Lower DBH threshold for fitting DBH. Maximum DBH. Upper DBH threshold for fitting DBH. Height above ground. Only the points above this height will be involved in the individual tree segmentation. This parameter is used to decrease the influence of ground points and weeds on the segmentation. It will also influence the accuracy of trunk detection if this value is too large. Minimum tree height. Lower threshold for an object to be recognized as a tree. This is used for filtering out small trees based on the growth rate of the region. Trunk height. The algorithm will extract the points in the range between height above ground and trunk height, and detect the trunk, which is used as the starting point for the growth of the point cloud. It is suggested that this value should be less than the height of the lowest branch. Additionally, you can check optimized color rendering for individual tree segmentation result to achieve better visualization. Choose output file type as the common CSV format. Then you can set the output path and file name Click OK and wait for the segmentation to complete. Finally, you can review the results of the point cloud individual tree segmentation.